A lot of students find math really really hard because of the insane amount of formulas they have to remember. There is this calculus, trigonometry, surface areas and volumes, probability, number theory and a lot more. So like while preparing for an exam how can one memorize all these formulas? How can one know which formulas are important and which formulas are not important? And most importantly how can one do this effortlessly? So that is what we are going to talk in this video. So let's begin. Hello geniuses. So before starting this video, I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, Skill Bank. So Skill Bank is an app which is like a pocket math tutor for you. This app contains all the topics starting from grade 1 to grade 10 with illustrative videos and very engaging quizzes to help you understand those concepts and strengthen your learning. So quickly download this app from the link in the description of this video and have fun math learning. So now let's come back to the video. So the thing that I'm going to share with you in this video is extremely simple but really really effective so listen to it very carefully and try to understand why it works so let's take an example suppose you are preparing for a test which is on trigonometry from your math textbook okay so now here are the simple steps on how you would approach it so that you can memorize all the important formulas related to trigonometry really really effortlessly so step one is this first you need to make a list of all the formulas that are going to be used in that specific chapter. Now you will say from where I will get this list. See in any math textbook if there is a trigonometry chapter they give at the end of the chapter a list of formulas that are important in this chapter something like that. You can even search for it on the internet. Suppose you like you get the list. Now don't use that list first copy the formulas yourself on a piece of paper like write it yourself all the formulas on a piece of paper written by you that is really important you yourself need to make that list this will give that list a value okay that is important now step number two is understand the concepts right now don't try to memorize anything just understand what trigonometry actually is See, memorization is deeply connected with understanding. If you understand something, you will remember it. This is because your brain makes connections inside and connections help you build memory. Okay, you can also build this understanding while solving question and here comes step 3. Whenever you are like solving any question, keep this list with you. And like when you start to solve a question, go to this list and think for yourself which formula will be used. See that formula? Use that formula. Don't try to memorize. Just use that formula written there. So see what will happen is this like suppose you are like solving a question and you are thinking about it. Then you looked at the list and thought like, like this formula is right to use in this question, right? And this will create the connections in your brain to memorize that specific formula. And the more questions you solve, the more formulas you will automatically start memorizing. The benefit of this technique is that the formulas that are used more and more will get memorized a lot better compared to those formulas which are used less. In my school days I used this strategy a lot and also when I started this channel I made a video on this and I also showed the list that I made myself. So if you want to look at that list which I made for myself you can watch this really old video of Metho Genius. Also after this video was published lot of students asked me for a pdf of that list which I showed in that video but unfortunately I like lost that list okay. And also the thing is that you need to yourself make your own list that is really important. Once you make it yourself like it will help to like kick start the memory like these are the kinds of formulas that are there and now when I'm solving the question I'm seeing like oh that formula that formula will be used here and this will help you memorize those a lot better like if you take someone else's list then it won't work that well and also another thing that I would like to share is that it's okay to forget facts okay like you have worked hard to memorize all the trigonometry formulas you remember them well but like after a year you will forget a lot of them and that is completely fine. 
Forgetting facts is not a big deal. If you forget the concepts, that means you have not understood them well. You have to remember the concepts. Like if you forget the formula, you can just go back to the list and, and try to memorize it again. It's not a big deal. These things are important only for exams and tests where you need these formulas to be memorized. Okay. Otherwise, normally in life, it is not very important to memorize these facts. What is important is your training while solving those math questions, the problem solving ability that your brain developed. That is important. Facts can be forgotten and like we can just go back and look at them again. So that's it for this video. I hope you use this strategy and do tell me in the comments how it worked for you. Is there any variation to this that you used and it worked really well? I would really love to hear that. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.